Welcome back, everyone, to Life Amongst the Ferns, and Happy New Year. Today, we're going to be talking about Observium. This is a network monitoring tool I've used both professionally and personally to monitor my home network stack. It's a really easy to deploy tool and it's very powerful for what you get. One of the major upsides of this tool is that it has a community edition which is free to use. So for anyone utilizing this within their home stack who doesn't want to pay for a service, install the community edition and we'll start by navigating to our Synology DSM and Virtual Machine Manager. Click on Create, Linux, select the volume you want to install this on. I'm going to name it Observium Test, creatively enough. Select the number of CPUs and RAM that you'd like to be associated with this virtual machine. Click on Next. Now you want to give it the amount of storage. We're going to choose 120 gigs, which should be more than enough for this test environment. Okay, now that user permissions have been set up, we're going to power on the virtual machine and install Ubuntu server. I believe I'm installing the 22.04 version. Now that we're connected, we'll give Ubuntu server a few seconds to start here. One of the great things about Observium is that it is free. Uh, there's a community edition that they do twice annual releases for. And if you're a business looking to buy this, there's a professional enterprise licensing plan as well. But for the average home user who just wants to monitor their um, uh, tech stack at home, this is a great option uh, to deploy and utilize for monitoring your servers and within your home lab, like I do. Whoops, so I had to shut down the virtual machine. I'm going back into its uh, settings here and changing the video card from VMGA to VGA. For whatever reason, Linux does not boot properly, uh, utilizing anything but VGA within uh, Synology's virtual machine manager. All right, now the setup is starting. We're going to select English for this install. Continue without updating. Done. Server. Now, in a normal deployment, uh, if this was not just a test server that I was deploying, you would want to set a static IP. Um, you do not want that IP changing at random within your home environment or work environment. Uh, and it gives you a static number to point to with all of your servers. Yes, we want to use the entire disk. Confirm that by clicking on Done. And Continue. Enter your name. Here I'm just going to put test user. The server name is going to be called Observium Test. Username, test user, and a easy to remember password for this test environment. Make sure to add a complex password if you're deploying this in a uh, production environment or even your home lab. You'll definitely want to install OpenSSH server. So select that, click on Done, click on Done. And now Ubuntu Server is installing onto our uh, Virtual Machine instance. While Ubuntu is installing, I'm going to navigate over to Termius. Termius is an awesome SSH uh, application that if you pay for it, it'll synchronize all of your um, server connections across multiple devices and makes accessing those servers really easy. Uh, for now, I'm just going to get that set up <clears throat> for this instance so that we can really quickly SSH into it once it's complete. Now that the install is complete, I typically go into Virtual Machine Manager and force shut down the virtual machine. Um, sometimes Ubuntu reboots, sometimes it does not. 
instead of waiting, we're just going to shut it down and restart the server. Once we're connected to our server, we'll begin by checking to see if wget has been installed. On this instance, it already was, which is great. Now we're going to exit out of root and back to our test user. From here, we're going to navigate to observium.org and the installation instructions page. This will be included in the link below and copy the wget command. This will download Observium. Next, we're going to change the uh, permissions for the files. One thing you'll want to be sure of is that MySQL is running prior to the installation of Observium. In this instance, it was not, so I'm doing a status check on MySQL and then starting the service. Now that MySQL has been started, we can run the Observium installation script. Uh, this will start the installation of Observium onto the server. Make sure if you do not have a license that you select number one, uh, the community edition. Since MySQL is already installed, we're just going to enter in that password, uh, which will give Observium access to the database. Now that Observion has been successfully installed, we're going to navigate to that IP address that was set originally. Type in our username and password. And this is the Observion Community Edition landing page. As you can see, we have no devices added to this uh, instance yet. And you can connect devices via two, well, technically three SNMP protocols, V1, V2, and then V3. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to connect via V2 and V3. If the device is successfully connected, you're going to see a uh, green box that will appear at the top of the screen inform you that device has been connected. It does take a few minutes for that device to be pulled, but once it has been pulled, uh, you can refresh the page and data will start streaming in to your Observium instance. Now that the server has been connected, there are numerous statistics that can be monitored, which is really great. I really encourage anyone installing this platform to jump in there and um, take a hard look at the data that is being collected on any one particular server. Um, it can be really useful in debugging and finding problems within your, your tech stack uh, by looking at these statistics. Now I'm going to remove the server we just added and add it back, but We'll be utilizing SNMP version 3, which is much more secure than version 2 or version 1. If this is being done in a production environment, or even within your home lab, I would strongly recommend setting it up utilizing version 3. Um, it is just a lot more secure. SNMP version 3 is going to require an authentication level, authentication username, password, and then an encryption um, type and password. Now that all the authentication information has been entered into the SNMP v3 fields, we can go ahead and try to re-add this host 
back to Observium. The same thing should happen as before. We'll get this green device added box. Uh, if you don't see that box, you'll see a red uh, box pop up saying that there was a connection error and the device could not be added. Again, it takes a few minutes for the device to be pulled, refresh the page, and um, all the data should start streaming in.